Hoy en CineDigital.tv platicaremos acerca del Cinematic Masterclass de Philip Bloom. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo están? José Luis Sanz de CineDigital.tv y bienvenidos al programa del día de hoy. Hoy tenemos un invitado especial, vamos a estar platicando acerca del Cinematic Masterclass de Philip Bloom. Todo el mundo conoce a, a Philip Philip. Fue uno de los pioneros en todo el tema de DSLR desde el 2009, por ahí. Y eh, ya ha lanzado esta, este masterclass que dura más o menos nueve horas y media y del cual estaremos eh, platicando en los próximos minutos. Bienvenido, Philip. ¿Cómo estás? Muchas gracias por estar con nosotros. I'm fine. How are you? ¿Nos podrías decir qué es el Cinematic Masterclass? The Cinematic Masterclass is essentially a condensed version of my knowledge for filming uh, across about nine and a half hours and, and nine episodes. And it covers a huge amount of topics for every different level of filmmaker. ¿Y a quién está dirigido? ¿Quién, quién, es el, quién es la audiencia potencial para este masterclass? What I wanted from this masterclass was something that could uh, appeal to people who are beginners, who have been filming for a while, and also people who have experience. Whilst there's, there's some basic things which in the first episode that people get up to speed into knowing how a camera works, why it works, why we do certain things like shutter speed and ISOs and all of that sort of stuff. To give that huge grounding of knowledge, it's like a, a very long first episode. To, to start people off, a lot of people have compared it to like a first year of film school, but just in you know, an hour and a half. And then after that, it moves on through different topics. And I really just wanted to, even if you're familiar with some of the aspects in each episode, hopefully you'll learn stuff um, that you didn't know or new ways of doing things. Tienes que saber ya de video o está dirigido también a principiantes, etc. Without question, you can, you can use it. If you're a complete novice, it will be harder because... Um, There's, you know, there's aspects of it which are going to take longer to understand. Um, but if you have already used the camera, even for photography, you will be at an advantage. So, I mean, it's, it's definitely geared towards everybody. Um, I would say the main people are that sort of middle ground. But it, definitely, if, you've, if you haven't filmed before, it's going to help you so much. ¿Y cuáles son los temas que se tratan en este masterclass? So we cover, we cover everything as far as, you know, really. Initially, I was approached to do a masterclass just on drones. And then I suggested we basically just widen it into everything. And so uh, the first episode, uh, which is free, is sort of a, an introduction to the course and also an a explanation as how to do a technique called lens whacking. And then we move on to the, the basics, which is the first episode. And then the second episode is visual storytelling, where we can cover um, composition, uh, lens selection, why we use lenses, the effect it has on an image. And then we go on to how to move the camera and all the different aspects of moving the camera from gimbals to tripod to handheld, etc. Then how to create sequences and the rules of building images together. And that's just one episode. And then it goes on to interview technique, which is lighting, audio as well. Then we go a whole episode on slow motion, a whole episode on time lapse, and then onto drone cinematography, then onto probably the most important one, which is all about the story, how you take all of these aspects and create something to engage uh, the audience. And the final episode is post-production, covering editing, grading, music selection, data management, all that sort of stuff. Is the masterclass is in English, correcto? Yeah, um, I, I'm English, so it is in English. And, um, but we have had it translated um, into Spanish and also Chinese, if you speak Chinese. But uh, it has been translated in Spanish, which is fantastic for you guys. ¿Dónde puede comprar la gente o dónde puede acceder la gente a este contenido? So people can get it uh, online. Um, and maybe you could put up a link um, over my face right now or something like that. But uh, it's an online masterclass. Uh, you can stream it and you can download it. Uh, it's 4K as well, so that's it's pretty nice. You know, there's not many training courses which are shot in 4K, and that's part of what I really wanted to do in this masterclass was make the production value in the tutorials as good as content that I want you to produce. 
So it's this is not just something which is just shot in a, a studio and just done really quickly. This was six months of incredibly hard work to make it look as cinematic as possible. Pues como lo platicábamos, eh, obviamente ya, ya nos explicó Philip de qué se trata todo esto. Y vamos a tener una dinámica donde vamos a regalar un acceso a este curso de MZ, el Cinematic Masterclass de Philip Bloom. Lo que tienen que hacer es eh, dar clic en la liga que aparece aquí abajo en la descripción del video para participar y eh, y, y ser ganador de esta, de esta masterclass. Vamos a estar corriendo la promoción más o menos por dos semanas. Entonces, obviamente, mientras más, eh, mientras más retuiteen y todo esto, más posibilidades tienen de ganar la misma mecánica que hemos seguido siempre. Así que los invitamos a darle clic y tener acceso a este material. Pues, Philip, muchísimas gracias por haber estado con nosotros. Esperamos que, que, que la gente conozca un poco más acerca de tu masterclass y, evidentemente, que aprenda con esto. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so hopefully if you until you get a chance to win. And if you don't win, uh, I do recommend getting the mask class. I am biased, but I, I do think it's very good. Pues eso es todo por hoy. Si tienen alguna duda, algún comentario, por favor visiten la página en www.cinegital.tv y haremos todo lo posible por contestar sus dudas. Pues me despido. Mi nombre es José Luis Tamés y nos vemos en la siguiente de cinegital.tv. Muchas gracias. Adiós.